That's why it reduces discretionary spending for non-defense programs as a share of the economy by more than 10 percent over the next decade, to the lowest level since they began keeping these records nearly. We will do what must be done to help in concert with state and local agencies and nonprofit organizations and volunteers who are doing so much to aid the response effort. For a new report for the Business Roundtable, a nonpartisan group that represents the CEOs of major companies, found that without significant reform, health care costs for these employers and their employees will well more than double again over the next decade. The next week, I'll be meeting with owners of large and small businesses, labor leaders, and non-for-profit leaders from across the country to talk about the additional steps we can take to help spur job creation. I'll that practice has kept the vast majority of those with PTSD who served in non-combat roles, but who still waged war, from getting the care they need. So we need Congress to reform our federal sentencing laws for nonviolent And to reach more folks, we're working with partners in the academic, nonprofit, and private sectors that will help families use this new data to navigate the complicated college process and make informed decisions. But over the last few decades, we've also locked up more nonviolent offenders than ever before, for longer than ever before. Many are nonviolent offenders serving unnecessarily long sentences. Many are serving unnecessarily long sentences for nonviolent crimes. Christian, Muslim, Jew, and non-believer alike all forged into common service. This year we also addressed two other problems that keep workers and wages down. The overuse of non-compete agreements that hurt workers in the job market and the unfair practices of companies that collude to set wages below the market rate. We are a nation of Christians and Muslims, Jews and Hindus, and non-believers. That's why we will continue working together with China on a whole host of global challenges, ranging from energy and climate change to public health, from nuclear nonproliferation to terrorism and violent extremism. I and this new program will provide up to $35,000 to help struggling but still creditworthy small businesses pay off non-SBA debts, money they can use to pay suppliers and vendors or pay down credit card debts. And we have re-energized a global non-proliferation regime to deny the world's most dangerous people access to the world's deadliest weapons. And I know there are many, Muslim and non-Muslim, who question whether we can forge this new beginning. Over the next decade, non-defense discretionary spending will reach its lowest level as a share of our national income since we began keeping records in 1962. Now, uh, I've been very clear that uh, from the United States perspective, Israel's uh, security is non-negotiable. The, the broad principle is that a lack of oversight, a, a series of regulatory gaps, allowed financial institutions, not just banks, but non-bank institutions, to engage in wild risk-taking that didn't simply imperil those institutions, but imperiled the United States economy and uh, had a profound recessionary effect on the world economy.